Hi guys, it's Tristan here from Property Toolkit. So I just wanted to run through and show you this really neat feature that we've got built into Property Toolkit to find uh, properties that are all listed by specific types of agents. I'm sure you know in your, in your area there might be one estate agent who's a little bit of the runs the litter, or it could be the agent that's the cheapest on the market, or it could even be a national estate agent that simply doesn't seem to get properties or across the line that people are attracted to for their low fees. And that might be because when they come to sell their property, they won't have that much equity left in the property once they've sold it. Or they don't actually like dealing with estate agents that much, so they want to kind of keep it as hands off and far away as possible. So by using Property Toolkit, we can quickly find those people who are using different and slightly odd agents to be able to get this across the line. So what I'm going to do is just quickly jump in and show you around our search system, how it can work and what you can do to pinpoint people who are either struggling to sell their properties or don't want to use a typical agent. So we just drop in straight into our dashboard here and you can just see a little bit of information about your local area. I'm based down here in Southampton and also have it covering the new forest. So this is all the details of properties in my area. So what I'm going to do here today is rather than jump into say some like sales and lettings where we can find properties that are both for sale and to rent, multi-agent, stuff that's in negative equity or even uh, anything else like that, I'm just going to head into the search function. And this is where it's like the major property portals on steroids. And the reason I say that is you can see just through all the different options that are sitting at the top here, lots of different ways to combine different types of searches together to really pinpoint and focus down on uh, potentially struggling landlords and vendors who need to get rid of their property. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna clear out, because I was just doing a little search earlier. Um, I'm just gonna bring up some sales properties. So this is now just bringing up all the different sales properties that are available um, in my local area. Uh, and what we're going to do here is we've got ability to choose the agents that we want to look for. So in either, usually it just goes through all the agents in an area. Um, but what we could do here is, for example, say for example, uh, I'm going to go for 99 home just because it's near the top. But you can find like purple bricks if you wanted to, or lots of different agents in here. And you can just focus on those in your area. So... I've just selected those, and then what you can now do is we can just have all those ones with listed with those types of agents here you go, just come up in front of us. So that's just the ones with 99 homes. I'll bring up a couple more with um, another agent. So one second, uh, I'm just going to come down to Express Agency, as they're they're a kind of a national chain who actually win quite a few instructions in our area. But here you can see lots of different instructions of people who. You know, these are probably a little bit more motivated than most uh, to kind of sell their property. And they might be ones where we've got the full property addresses just to be able to target them. And it also it drops in all of the links and everything else you need in front of you. And by clicking on them, you can jump straight into right view, super, whatever else to have a look and see what's going on. So that's just pulling all those up. And then where it's got them available, it will also bring back and give you the EPC links and the brochures. So just to give you an idea here. Um, this PDF is available here, so you can just take a look straight at it. Uh, and it's quite a good way of being able to dump in and do a bit of a deep dive on the properties that you want. And it's just a really neat way of being able to focus those properties. And then once you've found these ones that you're looking, you're interested in, you want to do something on them, then what you can simply do is just mark them as interested. So um, say I like to look at 30 Deacon Road, I've already opened it up, I click mark interested. And what that's going to do is it's going to drop straight into my pipeline uh, and lead section. And so all these properties that I've been interested in before will just all appear here. So then you've saved everything you want and you can go back to them for later. Um, and so it's just a really neat tool to be able to find those types of uh, properties and just be able to follow up and chase them up. So I hope that's been useful. If you've got any questions about um, Property Toolkit, how you can get involved or how you can get using it, you can head over to propertytoolkit.net or you can leave a comment in the below. If you want to find out any more about this channel, subscribe, like the viewing. The video and go from there and if you want to sign up and get using it for free I'll give you 14 days um, to try it out and otherwise it's 50 pounds a month thereafter but it really makes kind of searching those major property portals like searching them absolute steroids so my name is Tristan from Property Toolkit and the website is propertytoolkit.net thanks